Hi, my name is Tom Casey, and I wanted to do a quick short video today on your limousine company. And basically, the purpose of this video is just to compare you with one of your competitors in terms of where you guys fall out in search results when people are searching online for limo service in Orlando. I'm only going to cover two factors today because I want to keep this video short, but there is a couple things I want to run by you. But before I do that, I want to show you how many people are searching online for limo service. This is a tool from Google. It goes out and does a monthly count of search terms. And then it gives you average. And what you're looking at here is from March of 2015 all the way back to April of 2014. How many people are searching online for limo service in Orlando? Okay, so let's go see. April, 1900. <laughs> May, 1300. 1000, June, back up to 1300 for three months. 1000, down to 720. 1300. 1900 in January and February and March was 2400. <clears throat> That's a lot of people searching for limo service. So I thought this would be a good exercise. So I went over here to Google and did a search for limo service in Orlando. This is page one right here. Let's see where I find you. You're over here. There you are. Orlando Limousine, Florida. This is your website. And you are on page three okay so again I'm just gonna cover two factors today but these are two factors search engines consider when they're doing rankings obviously they consider more than two but again to keep this short we're only gonna look at two today what I'm gonna do is compare you with somebody on this page of Google using those two factors I'm gonna see if there's any differences and if there are any differences if there's anything that can be done about it it would help you out and move you up in search rankings all right so for comparison, we're going to use an elite limo or elite transportation. Let's go look at the first factor. First factor is something called citations. Now a citation is a listing for your business on a directory site. It's a name, address, phone number listing. Okay. I'm going to give you an example. This is a website that goes out and finds directory sites. All right. Here's a directory site called Show Me Local. So if Orlando Limousine, Florida had a listing on Show Me Local, name, address, phone number listing. That would be considered one citation. Search engines like citations. The more the better. They feel it makes you more legitimate as a business. Therefore, they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you do. On the top of this page, we actually can do a citation count for your business. And I put you in here. It's telling me you have 10 citations. Elite, who we're comparing ourselves to, has 190. So yeah, there's a bit of a difference there. <laughs> But the good news is, we can quickly and easily get you added to these directory sites. So what we could do, if we got this up to like 60, 70, 80, 90, even into 100s, and do that in short order, um, that's possible. Like I said, it is very quick and easy to get you added. If we did that, you definitely would have a nice positive boost in search rankings. You definitely would move up. Okay? So that's citations. The second and last factor I want to talk about today is something called backlinks. Now backlinks are important. A backlink is a link from one website to your website. As an example, if there was a website called OrlandoLimosupplies.com and on their website they had a link to OrlandoLimousineFlorida.com, that would be considered one backlink for you. Now search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations. Again, for similar reasons. They feel it makes you more legitimate as a business. Therefore, they want to make you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks than you do. Okay? Now, this website here actually does a backlink count for your site. And the number we want to look at is unique active backlinks, this number right here. So it's telling me you have 20 unique active backlinks. Let's go look at Elite. And they have 41. So more than double. Okay? Again, there's a bit of a difference. But there's good news here, too. We can add backlinks to your site. We don't need to add 40 or 20 probably get away with adding 8 or 10 and I'll tell you why. These guys are ranking, yeah, because they get this number 41, but this score is pretty bad. Link influence score is an indicator of how strong the backlinks are that are coming into your website. The stronger the website, the higher that score will be. So if you get a nice, strong, good website linking to you, that score is going to be a lot higher. That score should be closer to 30% on average. So what does that mean to you? Well. Like I said, if we only add maybe 8 to 10 good quality backlinks to your site and get your score up to around 30%, that would be huge for you. You would really jump in the rankings. You definitely would move up a lot. Okay? So, 
Citations and backlinks, the only two things we talked about today, but you realize that there are differences between you and someone on that other page of Google, but you're also learning that there are steps we can take to reduce and eliminate those differences. And when we do, with just these two factors alone, give you a very nice big boost, positive boost in search rankings, all right? So hope you found this was a little bit helpful. This is what I do for a living, but I don't charge for consulting. So if you want more information about what I talked about today, that's free. If you want me to cover other factors I do with my other customers regarding rankings, that's free. If you want me to review your website, that's also free. There's no cost. There's no obligation. So if you want to find out what I can do to help you out, give me a call or shoot me an email and we can go from there. Have a good one. Bye.